Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will learn about Git files in folder action in Power Automate desktop. So please watch this video till the end so that you can understand it completely. So let's get started. So first what we will do is we will use the Git special folder action which will give me a direct path till the desktop. The direct path till the desktop will be stored in the special folder path variable. Okay. Before using the get files in folder action, I would like to show you the folder structure in the file explorer. Here you can see that there is a folder which is named as bot underscore files on the desktop. Inside that I have two folders which is folder underscore one and folder underscore two. Okay. And then inside folder underscore three I have a file which is named as file underscore one. Okay. Now what I will do is I will use the get files in folder action and from here I will choose the variable and then I will specify the bot underscore files which is on desktop and here I am not applying any filter okay so I'll just leave it as it is and then I will click on save. And now I will run this bot. Now if I double click on this files variable, here you can see that there is a file which is named as file underscore one and the file name. I will click on more. And here you can see that this file is having a lot more other attributes like creation time exists, you know, full name is empty, growth path, all these attributes are there. Let's say I want to subtract from this creation time. Okay, so I will click on close. Then what I will do is I will use what I will do is I will use a set variable action and I will give the variable name as creation creation and then from here I will choose the variable files and we know that at the zero index we have that file because files is having a list data type okay the files variable is of list data type okay and at the zero index we have that file and we have an attribute which is creation time okay i will put a breakpoint by clicking on it and then I will run the bot I will click on run next action you can see that now it is having that creation time okay now you see the format of this date time variable right Here you can see that it has first it has month, then date, then year, then hour, minutes, and seconds. I will click on close. What I will do is I will use the date, right? So I will just type date here. And then what I want to do is I want to convert this date time you can see that it is in date time okay let's say I want to subtract one day from this date so I will just go and choose the creation I will say minus one because that data type 
you know creation variable is of date time data type okay and then from here I will choose the days so which is I am subtracting one day from it and then I will click on save I will run the bot now and then I will click on run next action and then again I will click on run next action here you can see that it has 16th of January okay and we have, we can see that here in the resulted date now the date is 15th of January right so this is how you can perform operation on the creation time so if you want to let's say add five days four days let's say you will see that four days will be added in the creation date of that file okay so this is how you can use add date time in order to add and subtract from the creation time same ways you can use the modified date of that file you know and perform this action so for example now that we know that so files variable is of list data type right? so in this case we can use loop which is for each loop right and from the variable I can choose the files variable and the item will be stored in the current item variable right and let's say I want to rename this file to, to rename this file what I will do is I will choose the variable which is having the current item and inside the current item we have a full name attribute I will use that and then let's say I want to add date time and from here I will you know use the custom date time I want to give yy mm dd format okay and I want to add this after the name okay and separator I want to choose the dash okay so which means it will put the name and then it will add a dash and then date time format okay and then I will click on save so I can just disable this and then I can choose the save and now I will run the bot you know you can see that the execution is completed successfully and here you can see that this file has been renamed right so this was the initial name right and then it has added dash and then it has given you know added year then month and date so this is how you can use get files in folder action in power automate desktop if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day